with you. So today's video is dedicated to my lipstick and lip gloss collection. It isn't far too big, uh, but it's good enough for me considering that I am such a lipstick enthusiast. I do believe that lipstick and mascara are two things you cannot leave the house without. My mascara collection is pretty basic. It's just about two to three pieces, but I want to show you my lipstick collection simply because I think that there's so many colors out there from so many brands and each of us have to have those basic few pieces that you know you have to have that go really really nicely with your color now I have done a piece a while ago which is about the lipsticks you must have in pinks and reds which was the Valentine's Day special blog post so I am gonna link that down in the description section below so please make sure you do check it out for right now I'm gonna get started and show you guys the colors I have in my lipsticks and lip glosses let's get this lipstick box tour started so the first color I have in my hand over here is Diva by MAC. Diva by MAC is this amazing dark shade. If you look at it really closely, it's really nice, it's dark and what I really like about it is that it's slightly creamy. Now what I mean by saying that it's slightly creamy is that it's not too matte, it's not retro matte from the MAC series. It's creamy matte which sort of makes it does go away a little bit when you eat or when you like drink something but uh, it still manages to stay for a suffice amount of time. Next up I have over here So Short by MAC as well. It's from the same creamy range as, uh, as Diva. The thing about So Short is that it's really nice and orange but it has a tinge of pink in it which is something that I specifically like. Next I have 434 Rouge Dior. The shade is called Brune Samarkand and it is a lovely nude. It's nude and it's got just a little bit of shimmer. What I mean by saying when I say shimmer is that it's not exactly sparkly and glittery. It's something that you can totally wear to work and yet at the same time it's got just an element of shine which sort of keeps your lips looking a little bit glossish but with of course the lipstick effect. Next I have this really nice colored lip balm from Melon Sherbet. Uh, the brand is called Love and Beauty. I haven't used this as much. Now I'm not really huge on colored lip balms. Even right now if you notice I'm wearing a lip balm. I'm going to show you which one in just a bit. But particularly to speak this Melon Sherbet one I've realized is really nice to mix with other lip glosses and lipsticks. Because it just makes a really nice effect for that slightly fuller lip that everybody likes. Then I've got Lakme's Absolute Gloss Stylist. This stage is, this stage, I said this stage. <laughs> Correction. This shade is called Neon Pink. It's an absolute, absolute Barbie pink. What I mean by saying that it's an absolute, absolute Barbie pink is that it is so pink, you can imagine Barbie wearing it. I just said the same thing in two different ways. Anyway, what I mean by saying is that it's a completely flowery pink. To be very honest, I used to wear this shade a lot and I haven't been wearing it because it tends to make my lips a little too sticky. Like I have hair going on my face and then I have to like be careful and pull it out and I hate that about certain lip glosses. So I have been using this but much like the lemon sherbet one I have here, I've been using this in mixes with other lipsticks and lip balms and I like that about it. It goes really well with other lipsticks and lip balms. Now, the one I'm wearing on my lips and also something I've showed you guys in my Luxola shopping haul, which was the first video of 2015. If you haven't seen that, I will link it down in the description section below. This one is Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm and what I really, really like is, of course, the mint flavor. What I particularly like about this lip balm is that unlike a lot of others that I know I have tried, it stays even through like eating and drinking which is really really good. You don't get a lot of lip balms like that and it doesn't give a glossy too much effect. It's really nice and matte so I tend to wear it on a regular basis even when I'm not stepping out just to keep my lips hydrated. Next I have Lacme's 9 to 5. This shade is called Mauve Paste. Again, this is something that I've worn so many times as a base, as a primer before pouring on a little bit of transparent lip gloss or another colour. I particularly like this shade for formal dressing because I think it goes really well with a lot of neutral looks. It's not glossy, it's the perfect kind of matte. And to be very honest, I've also used this shade a couple of times as a lip liner with the help of a really thin brush. Next, I have Etude. The shade is called BE802 Aqua Rouge. This is a lipstick 
that I actually stole from my mum's beauty kit. We exchanged a couple of lipsticks because she tends to like a lot of lip shades that I have and I end up liking a lot of ones that she has. So I remember giving her a couple of Lakme 95s recently and uh, this is one of the few I took from her box. I love this shade. Like I'm not even joking. I love this shade so much despite how it's a little dark brown uh, because I think it goes really well with my Indian looks as well. Sometimes when I'm wearing like really loud colors in my Indian attire, I don't want my lips to be too bright and I love Etude's lipsticks. I don't know why I don't own many of these. This is literally the only Etude one I have. Oh well, because I stole it from mum. That's probably why. Next, I have Lancome's Lip Lover. It's a lip gloss and this shade is called 337. What I love about the Lip Lover range is that they have these really nice brushes which you don't have to refill. Usually when you're applying lip gloss, you have to kind of keep taking coats. So these brushes have that smart sucking thingy, whatever it's called. Taking it out one time is enough for your entire lip. And what I like about this lip gloss as compared to way too many others out there, like I was just complaining about it, is that when my hair falls on it, it's not that sticky that my hair gets stuck. It's got a very nice mattifying quality and I love that about it. In fact, I have one more colour in the Lancome Lip Lover range. This shade is called 338. Now 338 is one of my favourite lip glosses. The way I feel about Etude with the lipsticks, I feel about this shade in the lip glosses because it is my absolute go-to. Um, it mattifies so it looks like I'm wearing lipstick and I love that about this. Next I have this really raggedy bichara looking uh, tube over here. It's Vaseline's Lip Care. The shade is Rosy Glow. Um, it looks really old and tattered simply because it is old and tattered but it just doesn't get over. I've used it so much and I've literally never had to buy another tube. Uh, I mix this much like the Sherbet Lemon I was talking about some time ago uh, with a lot of lipsticks and I also find that Vaseline as compared to any of the others I own tends to work as a primer despite the fact that it is lip care. Um, it has helped a lot of my lipsticks stay in place and it works really well with a brush as well as with the help of my fingertip and apart from that it has this angled tip which again makes it really simple to just directly apply okay so next up is a mystery lipstick when I'm saying mystery lipstick I literally don't remember which one this is my aunt gave it to me like really long ago about three to four years ago when she came down from the States and I don't remember the name of the brand and unfortunately it has gotten wiped out from this bottle somehow it's a lovely color it is basically it's a hardcore lipstick from one side like I know it looks like gloss because I'm taking it out like this but it has absolutely no gloss qualities it mattes out and looks fabulous and this looks amazing when I shoot with it um, and then the other side is basically where you can wear it as a gloss next side is slightly like one shade lighter and it's a gloss so the right way to actually wear it if you want to wear it like a gloss is this like the lipstick side with the coat of the gloss side. I'm really, really sorry that I don't know the name of this brand. Um, I will definitely try my best to harass her online and make her remember because I did leave her a message before shooting this video and she couldn't remember the name. But if I do know it, I will make sure I add it in the description section below. Next, I have again something that I did show you guys in the first video of 2015, the entire shopping haul. Uh, MAC from the Simpsons range. This color is called Red Blazer. Next, I have L'Oreal's 201 Rose Symphony. This is the shade I've been wearing a lot of late. And what I've realized is that this one and another lipstick that I have that I should probably pull out right now. Um, this one is from Color Bar. This Color Bar lipstick is called Take Me As I Am. It's from the Thick Lipstick Lip Crayon Thingy ranges. I think that these two are a match made in heaven. Because I always thought that this could have been slightly glossier. Because I found it dulling down after a little bit. And then when I just experimented with this little L'Oreal gloss I got my hands on recently, I thought it was absolutely perfect. It's not too high on gloss. And yet at the same time, it's sort of, as a team, looks really nice. Next, I have Clinique's Chubby Steak. The shade I have here with me is... I don't know. The shade I have here with me is Osri Mightiest Maraschino. Now this looks and is 
used a lot of times I know like a balm but it works wonderfully like a lipstick it has a really nice glossy finish and what I actually particularly like is that it sort of makes your lips look plumper than they are and I love that about it next I have max lip glass it, the shade is called social season wow okay I don't know how I never noticed the name before Next up is also a pink lip gloss. Wow, I have a lot of lip glosses. Okay, so this one is something I bought from Hong Kong, H&M. I picked this up about a year and a half ago. When I picked it up, I wore it for like two months straight with every lipstick. I don't know how it hasn't gotten over. Um, this color is sort of like a little more sober version of the Lakme one I showed you because this is more neon, the Lakme one and H&M slightly more subtle. I don't like how sticky this is. I find that it is really like even more sticky than the Lakme but um, again I think these sticky lip balms work wonderfully when mixed with the right kind of lip pigments and other lip balms and uh, I like to use it like that. I don't like to use it by itself although the color is beautiful. Uh, for the texture I like to mix it with other things and then use it. Last few lipsticks. Um, this one is called Viva La Glam. It's from the Luster range of MAC. This Etude lipstick is to me now is what MAC Viva La Glam used to be for me till I got my hands on the Etude. Um, I do still love this though. I tend to wear it a lot again with my Indian looks. Although it looks extremely brown on application it's sort of nude and it has a really nice shiny uh, quality. A little more shinier than the Dior one I showed you actually um, so I like to be selective about when I use this and again I love mixing lip colors like you guys might have made out by now uh, based on the number of things I told you about my lip glosses and lipsticks so again another lipstick I like to mix really nicely next up I have of course L'Oreal's newest star collection range the shades I have are pure amarante and pure fire if you have a look at a couple of my recent blog posts I have worn these and they are fabulous they are very close in terms of texture to max retro matte series which is where the ruby woo is from but talking about these colors what I like about them is that the orange and the pink are both not very typical orange and pink that you get in lipsticks the orange is a little offbeat with a tinge of rust in it and the pink is sort of a rani pink um, which would be an ideal mix of hot pink and a certain kind of bubblegum pink. I hope I'm describing that correctly in terms of colour but to me these two are my most recent additions to the lipstick collection and so far I'm loving them. Next I have Lakme Absolutes Cosmo Passion. Another colour that I find really easy to wear on like a daily basis when I don't want to draw too much attention to my lips. It is slightly shimmery but at the same time uh, it's not like gloss shimmery. You can wear it with that slightly shiny effect even to a day at work. Next I have again another Lakme lipstick actually. This one's called Desert Rose. It's really nice and neon. It's pretty high on gloss but when you apply it there's not as much colour in it. It's got a very very translucent thing going for it so again apply this on top of any other lipstick and your job is done my last two are both max sitting right here in my hand so this one here is relentlessly red I have absolutely no idea why they call this shade relentlessly red this is hardcore neon pink uh, <laughs> I hope you Mac people are listening because it's not red it's pink um, I love this shade particularly because it's that really really bright kind of neon pink and yet at the same time because it's it's absolute matte it's from the retro matte series it doesn't come in your face in a very disturbing kind of way it looks really nice really really stylish and uh, this has got to be my second go-to shade from MAC which brings me to my first go-to shade from MAC which I'm sure all of you know how much I love Ruby Woo now I have worn Ruby Woo more than any lipstick I own this is my third Ruby Woo I think third, second, fourth, I can't quite remember. But this lipstick doesn't get over. Believe me when I say this, no matter how much you wear your Ruby Woo, even if you wear it like four times a week, it doesn't get over. Unfortunately, this isn't one of the colors that you can wear easily with a brush because it is so, so matte. Um, but if you kind of dip your brush in a little bit of lip balm before stroking the lipstick for application, it should do the job. Um, it is my absolute 
absolute favorite lipstick like ever i have worn this to meetings i have worn this to parties i've worn this with my indian outfits i've worn this for new year's eve i have worn this on a regular day to kind of just uplift my spirits and i would highly recommend that every girl out there no matter what her skin complexion is must own a ruby o well, so I'm done with this video. Uh, I need to go play dress up because I've been around all my lipsticks together after a while. And I think I should just like stop staring at them for now. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please, I think it would be high time. And of course, make sure you leave your comments right below and let me know what you thought of this video if you have any lipsticks that you think i should get my hands on or if you have any feedback about the lipstick shades that i did show you make sure you let me know about those too see you guys